Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! What, 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 what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Pizza Maker Eight Thousand back with another Toontown video. Now today I'm doing my Tooniversal walkthrough part one. If you did not see, you know my real part one and creating my tune, doing that, all that. I did a server review Cinema Sin style, and I leave the link to the video down below if you guys have not seen it yet. But this is where my walkthrough is gonna start. And what the fuck? This is a short street. But you guys aren't gonna believe this, man. I am a fucking burger i'm an egg look i went through it i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys man look at this i went through talk for about 30 minutes you know just speaking about toontown you know etc i talked about a lot of stuff got my gags you know started my flippy task and then i realized i didn't hit start recording so i'm like damn bro i really just spent 30 minutes talking for like you know i didn't even talk to nobody so i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up right here and i wanted to say I'm going to basically reiterate what I said, which is probably better now because I was kind of rambling before, but there's a lot of stuff on this game that, you know, I personally do not like. And this isn't a shot at the developers. This isn't a shot at nobody, man. There's just stuff in this game that I think this game itself should have kind of learned from Toontown Online, Toontown Rewritten, Toontown Infinite, all these other servers' mistakes and not made the same mistake. And that mistake being, you know... If you make a new server, man, this goes for any other servers that are coming out, you know, and this is my opinion. Again, this doesn't, you know, don't take this to heart, bro. This is an opinion, and, you know, this is just all I got to say. I'm going to go in and wait till I get out of this battle so I can show you guys kind of a visual. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So I'm going to step right here, pull up my book, man. The reason I love Corporate Classic is because it took all that grindiness bullshit out of the game. And this game, I don't know about the factories, you know, I don't know about the VP, I don't know about the boss, I don't know much about this game. But I do know that, you know, this gag track training is bullshit, bro. I don't know why this game didn't breach off and do their own type of thing like Corporate Clash did. Because in Corporate Clash, man, I could sit there and go fight. Like, bro, I did factories and VPs, factories and VPs, factories and VPs. And I got, you know, my training point in order to get my next gag track. Just from doing what I wanted to do that was productive in the game. Not, I'm not sitting there with my thumb in my ass, you know chilling somewhere and just doing fucking house parties i'm actually doing something productive in the game and i got rewarded and you know this game and toontown written and all these other toontown servers that kind of stick to the same you know niche and same type of idea that toontown online incorporated it makes it a lot more grindy and a lot more annoying i don't want to have to do a toon test just to get a certain type of gag i don't want to do 16 uh, excuse me 16 different toon tests in order to get a certain type of gag bro it just that that's that's that grindy bullshit that makes you want to like not play the games. I don't want to sit here. What the fuck are level two press by? I don't want to sit here and go through all of that shit just to get a gag track, bro. I wish I. Yo, that shit looks like the Saw character. But I wish I could just do whatever I want and get you know a point system or something like that. Like I I don't know why they think that anybody wants to sit here and do sixteen different tasks to get one gag track. Like that shit is annoying. And then. That you gotta do gag tracks for, or toon tests for laugh boost, bro. I don't like that, man. I like that you can just do whatever kind of you want in the game and progress it your own way. That They, they, they kind of just... Yeah. Ugh. It's a Toontown rewritten 2.0, alright? That's exactly what this is. They kind of wanted to do their own thing by adding cogs and gags, but they kind of kept the same original idea. They didn't really put their own spin on it, but... If that's what they want to do, like I said, this is their own server. They do whatever the fuck they want. My opinion doesn't carry no weight, but I don't like that. And also the spin gag. I've heard a lot of bad stuff about the spin gag. If you guys, you know, have any general knowledge on the spin gag, feel free to comment it down below and let me know because I really have heard a bunch of, like... So, I guess the main... Uh, the main point of the spin gag is to... It does damage over time. But it also unlures the cogs, which is kind of stupid. And it's based on rounds, not time. Like, it's not like, oh, if you put the spin gag and then, you know, after 20 seconds, it does X amount of damage. After another 20 seconds, it does X amount of damage. It's just kind of, after one round, it'll do this much. After one round, it'll do this much. But it'll also unlure the cogs. Because think about how cool it would be if you could never have to worry about unluring the cogs. If you could put your, your little spin gag down, I've never even seen it used. I, I, I've never even seen it used. But if I were to put my spin gag down, let's say it does 10 damage, cogs have 50 health. I sit there, you know, 10 damage goes by, the cogs are still lured, I can't be attacked. 
it would help with soloing. So, Cogs can't be can't attack me, but they're just taking damage over time. So, that means if my, my uh, cupcake or whatever the fuck I'm using only does 40 damage, then hey, that extra 10 I did last round, it's going to carry over. So, I throw the cog, throw it at the cog, that cog is dead. Next cog I have, same thing. Uh, my, you know, my fruit pie or whatever only does 30 damage. So, you know, he has 50 health. Two rounds have gone by, so he's now down to 30 health. So, I have enough to kill him. But the fact that it unlures him, it just, like, what for what reason would you use it if it does damage over multiple rounds? And it, you know, maybe there's some good about it. Maybe there's some good, you know, pro strats for the spin gag. But I have no idea about him. If you guys do know him, feel free. Let me, why can we have enough damage to kill him? Yeah, well, wait. He is 14. How much I got? 12? Bruh. Come the fuck on. Come on, bruh. But, you know, if anybody knows any spin gag, I've heard nothing but, you know, bad reviews about the spin gag. Like, I like that Corporate Clash incorporated it into their game and made it relevant, made Squirt relevant, made it so it's like, yeah, this gag is new. But hey, if you use it with Squirt, it does three times damage. And, you know, I just don't understand why you would have a gag that unlures the cogs and does damage over time when, you, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what they had in their mind. That's that. This is not my server, like I said, man. But I haven't heard nothing good about it. Another thing that I was talking about, when the whole time that I thought I was recording, man, is I want you guys to know that you know as much as I appreciate all of the support that I've been getting, I've been gaining about seven, maybe eight subscribers a day. Some days it goes up to fifteen a day. You know, I've been gaining four or five people in the Discord every day, and you know I'm oh this is the wrong street. I'm eternally grateful for, it, man. I appreciate it. You know, I've done a lot of hard work. You know, I work eleven hour days, six days a week. Still make time to upload every single day, but that's not going to be the case. I'm not going to, don't expect me to upload every single day. If I take three, four, five, maybe even six days to upload a video, because I'm not going to upload at least once a week. Once a week is, you know, standard. I'm, don't expect me to upload, you know, every day like I'm doing now for forever, because, you know, I'm not home right now. I'm away from work, so I don't have to do any of my, you know, normal everyday festivities, going out, you know, going to the gym, hanging out with friends etc bro i don't have to do with none of that because i'm you know not home but when i go back to that i'm not gonna have time to be uploading every day like i am now and you know i'm just doing it just kind of like to grow my channel you know i've been skipping out on going to the gym i've been skipping out on doing this and that so i can keep bringing content and keep recording these videos for you guys and upload them and stuff like that so i do appreciate you know nothing but love and respect for all my subscribers all my supporters thank you guys to Everybody that's, you know, even watched a second of a video, liked the video, joined the Discord, even if you've left, you know what I'm saying, just, I appreciate it, but uh, I don't want to be stuck in a Toontown niche, and this is me being completely honest with you guys, and this is for, you know, not, not necessarily personal reason, but for, you know, my personal self, bro, I don't want to, this sounds, this is going to sound mean, but you know, Toontown is a niche, just like 2K is a niche, Minecraft's a niche, Whatever, everything has its own niche. Toontown is a niche that, you know, it's a small community. So once you obtain all of the fans in that community, uh, you don't really have a community if you hop onto another game. So, of course, some people are going to follow you, not everybody. But, you know, when I watch other YouTubers like Frizzy Dog and Pop, man, I go look at some of his old Toontown videos, 100,000 views, 75,000 views, 40,000 views. Even though Toontown video he posted recently, I know they're old, so of course videos get views over time. But he posted a video recently on Toontown, had like 2,000 views in an hour or so. And, uh, you know, I, I go look at, you know, Mega Snoop. You know, he posted a video, Toontown, it gets 2,000 views in an hour. And but whenever Frizzy, Frizzy Dog and Pop, Mega Snoop, whenever any of these other Toontown YouTubers upload any other type of content, they don't get the same love and support, which is fine, bro. I don't expect, if, if I were to subscribe to a channel for racing videos and they post a video of somebody ice skating, I'd be like, bro, this is not, I'm not going to click on the video because that's not what I, you know, subscribe to them for. So I understand that, but they put themselves in a niche. If you go look at any of Frizzy Dog and Pot's Power 101 videos, they get 700 views. His Toontown videos get 2,000 in an hour. His, his you know, Power 101 videos get seven, that 700 views in a week. Big difference, very big difference. Same with Megastream. If you look at any of these Call of Duty videos, they get like, what, a thousand views, you know, over a week span. He uploads a Toontown video within an hour, it has a thousand views. So it's definitely a big difference. And, you know, I understand people that, you know, if they're subscribed to me stri strictly for Toontown and not because, you know, my content's entertaining, creative, funny, whatever the case may be, whatever reason you have for subscribing to me or watching my videos, 
you know, I don't mind. Have your own, you know what I'm saying? I have a lot of, you know, I, don't, I have a lot of people that I subscribe and I have no idea or reason why I subscribe to them. I'm just like, yeah, I don't know what it is about this person or, you know, I just like their videos. I like the thumbnails. I like the editing, this and that. And, you know, I just don't want to be put in this niche of, you know, oh, only Toontown videos. Because then once I get, you know, to a bigger channel and I'm on a bigger horizon, you know, no one's are going to fuck with my other videos kind of like what's going on with them. So I want to kind of start that off while I'm low. You know, initially I didn't even make my YouTube account to upload Toontown at all. You know, my intro right now, as you can see, I had one that was Toontown. And then I'm like, damn, bro, I don't want to have a Toontown one because when I upload something that's not Toontown, then I'll have an intro. So I kind of did something I could do across all of my videos, not necessarily just Toontown or 2K or this game or that game. Something that I could use across everything. It's just my name, you know, the little do -do 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 -do, type in the that. That's, that's, that's what it is, bro. And I don't want to be stuck in a niche of only posting Toontown videos. So eventually, well, not even eventually, bro. Like I said, I started my Toontown, I started my YouTube account not even to post Toontown videos. I started my YouTube account to post 2K videos. But, you know, I'm not home. I don't have my PlayStation with me to post Toontown videos. I mean, to post 2K videos. So, once I get back home, best believe the 2K videos are going to be rolling out, man. I'm still going to be uploading Toontown, but I'm going to come up with a schedule. I don't have one yet. If anybody has any recommendations for, you know, a time period or something along those lines of when for me to upload... So basically, this is how I have it set in my head right now. Of course, it's not set in stone. This is an idea. So Monday, Minecraft Monday, which I don't know if I'm going to keep that one because I don't really play Minecraft too much. But Minecraft Monday, Toontown Tuesday. And that on that Tuesday, I'd either double upload a Corporate Clash and a Tooniversal or one of the other. And then if I did, you know, Tooniversal this week, I'll do Corporate Clash next week and vice versa. Uh, Wednesday, I wasn't going to upload at all. Thursday, I wanted to do Throwback Thursday because I literally just got a PS4 before, I mean a PS2 before I left and, you know, rebought a bunch of old games I love to play, so I would love to sit there and, you know, play some old school classics, get some real nostalgia, not like Toontown Rent, some real nostalgia, and, you know, play those games. Uh, on Thursday, Friday would be like my 2K Friday, you know, Saturday and Sunday, I'm off work. You know, those are my days to chill. I don't want to have to upload every single day. You know, I have a job. It's not like this is my job. It's not like I live off the money that I make from YouTube. You know, I don't. That money goes straight to my savings, bro. I don't touch it. I don't even realize I get it. Because, like, so basically, whenever you get money off of, two, uh, off of uh, YouTube or, you know, even my Teespring, all that clothing money, it goes into an account. So Google AdSense is an account. I, I leave it there. I don't even check it, honestly. Like, of course, YouTube, uh, it'll tell you, you know, your estimated revenue for this month is, you know, blank, 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 blank. So that stays there. I don't open that account. And, you know, once it hits a certain threshold, it goes straight to my savings. I don't even notice it. You know what I'm saying? It, every $100, it goes in your savings. So I don't notice it. I don't even pay attention. You know, $100 in my savings does not make a difference. I don't really notice that. And same with my Teespring collection, man. Like, people, I know this person trying to clown me in my, uh, and the corporate class discord and try to tell me i don't you know all, all the money he made off his sales uh selling t-shirts oh all of his you know yeah 10 percent of that is zero percent or some shit some smart comment bro y'all believe what you want bro y'all believe you go look at my instagram see everybody that's bought my shirts bro i made over two thousand dollars selling t-shirts bro telling merch not necessarily t-shirts selling merchandise bro and that's not me boasting or nothing like that bro that's just me saying but you know I spent a lot more money than that on, you know, starting up my YouTube career, bro. Like, my microphone right now is $200. My fucking MacBook, I would have never bought a MacBook if I didn't do Toontown because, or do uh, YouTube because I had a Windows that I barely even got on because I didn't really use my computer at all. Uh, you know, I bought a MacBook. Had to buy a green screen. Had to buy multiple green screens because some of them came in different shape sizes, didn't work, etc. Had to buy, you know, editing software. Had to buy fucking... Uh, what else did I buy? And Elgato, I had to buy, you know, there's a lot of stuff. On 2K, I got to buy, you know, VC packs to make new players and new builds to upload and try them out and test them out and show off the builds. So there's a, definitely a lot of money that I put into this. So it's an investment in myself. You know, I'm not on this, but, you know, that and that just kind of ties into what I'm saying, man, that this is not... This, this is, you know, I don't want to be stuck in this community. Once, you, once you're once you in a community of, you know, Toontown or whatever, the community is only so big that once you kind of have a bunch of the fans from it, you, like I said, bro, you're not going to grow much more. As, if, as Call of Duty, you know, there's millions of players that play the game every day. Toontown is a dying community. As I'm sad to say, I still play it, still upload on it uh, fucking constantly, but it's a dying community. Eventually, this community is going to be gone. 
and not necessarily saying that in a bad way, bro. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick or nothing, but Toontown community is going to be gone. If you look at the popularity of the Toontown videos, like, I have this thing, and it tells you, you know, whenever I type in a, a term for hashtags, Toontown, if I type in Toontown rewritten, it'll say, you know, 2017 had this number, 18, 2019. It tells you the monthly searches all the way down from, you can filter it to years. The difference between 2017 to 2020 is about 1.3 million difference in the negative and this is not me being a dickhead this is not bro I'm, I, this is me this is facts bro and you know this community is getting smaller and smaller and smaller more divided more divided people are leaving all these different servers you know whether people are leaving toontown rewritten because of no updates people live in toontown corporate class because they've been bullshitting on 1.1 and you know this like i said bro these servers do whatever the fuck they want i don't give a fuck i'm gonna play the game regardless not regretting but i'm gonna play the corporate clash regardless but you know i've seen a lot of people in my discord and they complain about stuff like this and they say you know this is my problem with this server i'm done playing it and i'm done and people really just like that bro will be done playing they could invest it no matter what the time they invest into it, they'll be done playing with it and that's what i'm saying like this community isn't gonna last forever and i'm trying to you know build a community that's not just based around one thing when i had my community based around just 2k there was a lot of times i run out of ideas i'm like bro that's initially why i even started uploading toontown rants because i was running out of ideas on 2k i was like let me hop on toontown bro so initially i was doing 2k and toontown back to back to back to back went you know i'm not home for work so i just don't have any other way of uploading videos besides toontown even though i have some videos that i still have to drop out there in the vote on my channel on private i got to take them off private of course i upload them and got some star wars dead by daylight uh 2k videos like that i have to take out the vote yeah, but that's what i'm saying man i don't want to only upload one type of content if i'm sitting here playing smite or 2k with my friend and i'm like hey i gotta get off because i gotta make some videos for youtube and they're like hey you know why don't you just make videos on 2k since we're already playing it you know you can kind of do two for one you know and i'm like damn i don't have no fuck all my subscribers are for you know, two ten. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to be put in a niche, bro. I'm trying to set myself and my channel up for a higher horizon. I'm not doing this as a, you know, like I said, I'm doing this shit as a hobby, and eventually gonna turn this into my channel is gonna eventually be big, bro. Whether y'all believe it or not, bro, my channel is eventually going to be big. It might not be this year, might not be next year, might not be the year after that, but it might be six years down the line, and I'm going to continue to upload. And my channel is going to do nothing but grow. Grow intentionally. Because I'm going to not be stuck in a niche, man. I want to go ahead. I'm going to be doing prank videos. I'm going to be doing social experiments, man. I'm going to do a lot of me in front of the camera. Not me behind it on a microphone, bro. It's going to be a lot of me doing what I like to do. I like to joke around and prank my homies, bro. I want to do stuff like that on my channel. As, long, as well as gaming and doing stuff like that, you know. In four years, me and my homeboy... Uh, gonna move in LA. We're gonna move into a crib in LA, a pad, and that's all we're gonna do all day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Our investments at that time will have paid off, and we're gonna be out there doing pranks on each other all day, making YouTube videos, you know, doing whatever the fuck we want because I'm setting myself up now at where I work to set myself up in this future for success. So, <sighs> got kind of a little deep on y'all for this walkthrough for. To universal fans so i'm sorry to universal fans if you had to hear that shit but yeah that's it for this video man i'm gonna do a part two going through you know i'm gonna have well i don't know what gags are gonna pick yet i don't even know what lets you choose between but other than that don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe it's your boy pizza make 8000